Vielen Thank you very much. Stefan Melle, members, team partners and board members of the German-Russian exchange, DRA, uh, sponsors, supporters, guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely pleased to be able to welcome you here today to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the foundation of the DRA here uh, in the Red City Hall. We commemorate this jubilee together. We want to commemorate the past 30 years together, remember the foundation of the DRA, a lighthouse organization of international understanding, a defending, uh, defender of the free democratic value of a, of a civil society, an actor supporting peace, tolerance and democracy doing so in the Central, Eastern and Southeastern European countries. Many thanks for your activities. We came together here in order to uh, honor the extraordinary uh, work done. 30 years ago when the organization was founded, well, in the kitchen of the initiator, uh, Rudy Pivko, only few would have believed how big the network would grow one day and the important role it would be able to play in the European political landscape and the civil society landscape of Germany and Eastern Europe. At the time, it was a turning point, a point that was completely different from the time before. The Soviet Union had collapsed, things had got into flux, new things emerged, and the citizens in Russia and the f other former Soviet republics demanded to be heard and participate. As a Romanian by birth, I can tell you that this is exactly the kind of atmosphere we experienced at the time ourselves. People wanted to have a different relationship between the civil society and the government and the state on the level of uh, politics and the level of social uh, civil society. The DRA turned out to be a reliable partner, communicating with them on at eye level and cooperating with them. It set an impetus, it was the kind of engine in order to uh, shape and uh, organize the transition process. Uh, it was a time of an optimistic departure to new horizons and we uh, could imagine that lots of hopes would be fulfilled, hopes for a peaceful future, a future of an open dialogue with people, talking to one another as equals, and that state-run and sta non-state organizations, non-governmental organizations would co cooperate constructively. Today, I believe that we all look back in slight desperation. Would you have thought, ladies and gentlemen, that we would hear from the Russian government these days that it no longer wants to be a partner, that it sees organizations like the DRA as an enemy rather than a partner, uh, declaring it an unwanted and uh, unwelcome uh, organization. I think the turning point of which we all speak had long since started. Well, while the DRA was still uh, uh, trying to be a defender of uh, democratic values and was no longer wanted in that capacity. You, you can imagine that I would have preferred to speak about the successes of your network, to speak about the uh, international dialogue uh, that had led to many activities that had helped preserve the peace. 77 years of peace after the Second World War. So I find it all the more depressing that we now have completely different images on TV and on social media. We have to come to grips with something we never expected. When we think of Ukraine, these are just untenable conditions. And the horrible truth is that we were entirely unprepared for that. 
the uh, folk, uh, uh, geographic focus of your organization, Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus, you play a very important role. You are a mediator in the current crisis wherever you can, and you have a huge partner network, so the DRA makes it po uh, is in the position to uh, mobilize resources regardless in an effort to strengthen democracy and freedom. It is a heartfelt desire, uh, notwithstanding the dark hours here in Europe, to look back at the real success the DRA has achieved. And uh, allow me to briefly look at what was done, was achieved, what was developed by you. The uh, Civil Society uh, Forum is still in existence. S uh, you are the coordinator of the activities there in the mean uh, time. Nearly 150 organizations are represented in the DRA. Uh, offering uh, guidance uh, to the bill in Senate, for example, when it comes to twin cities, twinning array, other twinning arrangements. I'm sorry, I, I think I mixed up my notes here. Please forgive me. Anyway, we know the DRA also as a partner, uh, advising us and uh, communicating with about twinning arrangements and how to uh, go on to uh, develop the twinning arrangements with uh, Moscow. And uh, even when times are difficult, we try to keep uh, contacts alive. And we would like to thank the DRA for its untiring efforts in uh, with regard to its youth exchange programs and also the resilient work to combat uh, misinformation, fake news, and uh, propaganda. Even though the uh, courageous uprising of uh, Russian citizens against the war in Ukraine has not or has not yet materialized, the majority of society is still silent, but there is resistance, and we need to take note of it and we need to strengthen it by organizations such as yours and events such as this and also that uh, the uh, governing mayor of Berlin clearly said we stick to our twin city arrangement uh, with Moscow but we know that we need to do more things now notwithstanding the enormous pressure on uh, dissidents, on people who believe differently, uh, notwithstanding the uh, threat of uh, imprisonment, um, people are no longer willing to swallow everything. They refuse to believe what uh, the official propaganda tells them. They uh, form their own opinion. I'm certain that this is also in part thanks to your untiring, untiring efforts. A civil society that holds high, high the uh, values of uh, democracy and freedom, who sees itself as a watchdog uh, to protect these value, values wherever they come under threat, deserves our support. Uh, people in Russia are now under double isolation. They are uh, willing to speak up, uh, they are willing to voice their opinion, to take a position, but within a uh, hostile environment they find themselves in isolation. They suffer from censorship, from the suppression of the free media. They are unable to say their opinion, they are subjects of reprisals. They need our support, your support, more than ever. The same is true for the people who are directly suffering from the war in Ukraine, uh, who suffer enormous con uh, painful consequences, uh, who are the uh, targets of violence and death. Uh, but it's also true that one day this war will be over. And then we will still 
have to find a way forward with our neighbors. We have to find a way to deal with one another, even if reconciliation is uh, still far away. But the, the day will come when uh, it will be over and then we will be ready. What could that way in the, uh, forward be? I would like to wish that the DRA will be in the position to make a significant contribution. Representatives of the DRA, I would like to congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I pay my respect to these 30 years of your existence and on behalf of the governing mayor, I bring you uh, all the best g g greetings for further success. And together with your partners in Eastern Europe and Central Europe, um, I wish you a lot of success. I I wish you to give an impetus to the further development and strengthening of civil society and that you find partners uh, that support you uh, on the path towards securing peace. You are experts in uh, finding the suitable forms and methods for cooperating in difficult conditions. Thank you very much and I wish this gathering a lot of success.